There is one single thing that you can start doing today to drastically improve the results of your 3D work. Now, before I tell you what it is and spoil everything, I want to start off with a true story. In the world of marketing, there is one fundamental concept that if you do not master, your business will fail. This is the single most important thing that anyone can do and unfortunately, most people don't do it. And they usually don't do it because they're lazy bums and don't wanna put in the work, which makes no sense because it's actually incredibly easy to do. The concept of a hook is basically where you see a piece of content and it grabs your attention unlike anything else. This is also referred to as a pattern interrupt. When you're scrolling through Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, you see the same BS every single day. But sometimes there's one particular piece of content that really catches your attention. And usually that is in the form of a thumbnail or a title. I can't tell you the amount of times I've had a recommendation pop up in my YouTube feed and I'm like, damn it. Now I have to watch it because it just built too much curiosity. And there's a similar situation with a clothing brand that I follow that actually happened to me yesterday. I was mindlessly scrolling through Instagram because honestly, I was bored. And then all of a sudden my phone alarm went off except it wasn't my phone alarm it was a notification on an advertisement that made the same sound that my phone does so they basically hooked me in by playing the alarm sound effect and then transitioned into saying the sale ends tonight and this is one of the few times an ad has immediately got me to take action think about it i follow this clothing brand i like their clothing but i would most likely not have bought anything from them if they didn't catch my attention and they did a damn good job at doing it and this is exactly what you need to do as well. I know you're probably wondering how you can apply this concept of a hook to your 3D work and the answer is simple. It is all about the packaging. The packaging of your work and how you present it is the single most effective tool to start getting you the results that you want. You might have the best product out there with the best skill set but if you present it like shit nobody cares and I can't tell you the amount of times I walk into a grocery store and buy things solely based on how the packaging looks. People People will literally correlate a snack being healthy even if it isn't just because of how the packaging looks. Crazy, huh? You can apply this to pretty much anything you're doing in the 3D space. You can improve the light in your scene, you can improve the design, you can improve the look of your portfolio, you can improve your style, and you can take some of your old work and simply repackage it and get better results. Sitting and watching tutorials all day because you don't feel competent enough is rarely going to solve the underlying issue. The market doesn't care how how good your skills are if you're not communicating to the market that you have the skills. Make sense? Before this video drops off, I want to end it with a few tips that you can start implementing today to get the results that you want. Number one, cut out the fluff. Get rid of the excess detail, decals, whatever you have on your model that just looks terrible. Try to remember the phrase, keep it stupid simple. Most of the time, that's all you really need to get the results you want. Number two, develop a style. If you're going from trees to spaceships to weaponry to humans and that's all in your portfolio, you don't have a consistent style and nobody's really going to be able to see the artist that's creating it. The packaging is not good enough. You can develop your own style through your color schemes, lighting types, models, and things like that. Number three, measure the results. I'll give you an example of how we do this personally. On our sales page for our Hard Surface Academy program, we were able to make more money just by changing the look of the page. This is how our original page looked and we were getting around a 0.5% conversion rate, which means that for every 200 people we marketed this product to, we could expect one person to buy. Instead, what we did is we hired a professional landing page designer. It cost us about $500 and our conversion rates are now at 1.5% just because we changed the look. We changed the packaging of the sales page. We literally tripled our income by changing the packaging and spending a small bit of money. And before some dork comes in and says, oh, $500 is a lot of money. Yes, Einstein, it is. But think about how much we got back as a result of spending that. Changing the packaging and measuring the data was probably the most important thing we were able to do for our line of work. And you can apply the same philosophy to yours. No matter how many tutorials you watch, how much you practice, or how much you work, at the end of the day, the packaging is always gonna get you the most results. Is it fair? No. So, is it reality? Yes, and you're gonna have to accept that. So I hope this video is valuable to you and you can leave it and apply some of the concepts demonstrated 
to change the packaging on your work. Head over to blenderbros.com slash free dash guides and check out some of our resources over there to help you improve your packaging. I'll see you soon.